I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that nothing makes me happier when a, an object comes out, a simple object that punches way above its weight class by filling a niche that just isn't being filled. Like the newbie drone neck strap for the transmitter. I just think it just does exactly what it needs to do, even though neck straps aren't really like a ooh, ooh sexy thing. And that is, if you find neck straps to be sexy, that's don't, I don't need to know about that in the comments, but I don't, I'm not judging you. <laughs> that's what we're looking at today. This is the Diatone Mamba Soldering Practice Board. And it is exactly what it looks like. It's just a PCB with some solder pads on it that you can practice soldering to. Now, in the past, I have suggested that you buy some perf board. Oh my God, here's some right here. In the past, I've suggested that if you want to practice soldering, you get some of this. This is some perf board. It's cheap. And the problem is this has a couple of larger edge pads and some through holes, but it doesn't have all of the kind of pads that you'll be soldering on if you solder on a flight controller. And some people just take their old dead flight controllers and use them to practice soldering, but that's kind of expensive. This little guy here is like two or three bucks and has a ton of different kinds of pads. The exact kind of pads that you solder on a flight controller. So there are some edge pads here, like for an XT60. There are some big pads here that are roughly equivalent for ESC or motor pads. There are some surface mount pads. There are some through holes and you can practice soldering this is such a worthy investment if you're trying to get started soldering. I highly recommend it and that's why I am making a whole video just about this stupid little $3 thing. It's gonna be, because I want you to know it's out there. Here's the thing. You are probably bad at soldering. Now, some of you aren't bad at soldering, but odds are, <laughs> because a lot of people in this hobby are way more interested in getting their freaking quad in the air. You you didn't set out, to, you didn't go, wow, I sure would love to learn to solder someday. No, you want to fly a quadcopter. And so you skipped right over the soldering. You just jabbed it all together as best you could. And you went out and you got the quad in the air and you skipped learning how to solder. That's true for a lot of people who are watching this video right now. And so, get this. Get some wire, get some wire assortment, some 14 gauge wire, some 20 gauge wire, and maybe some 26 gauge wire, and practice soldering to this. And then when you're done, desolder the wire, clean it up, do it again, you can reuse this. You can reuse this until you lift a pad because you're ham fisting it and you overheat it, but then, thank goodness you didn't destroy a 45, 50, 60, 70 dollar flight controller, wouldn't that be nice? Two or three bucks, and I'm so happy about this. I'm gonna give a bunch of them away. I'm just gonna give a bunch of them away. They're only like three bucks. I don't care. Race Day Quads doesn't know that I'm doing this. These, um, I got this from Race Day Quads. They're sold other places too, but I'm just gonna, they're three bucks a piece. I'm just gonna give a bunch of them away. So um, I'm not even gonna do the limit to, it's only a $3 item. What are you gonna do? You gonna fill the comments up? Please don't do that. I wanna hear your comments. So I'm not gonna lock the comments down and do the whole only one comment. You're not going to be disqualified if you leave multiple comments, but if you leave like 50 comments to increase your odds, I'm just going to delete them and I'm going to make an ugly face at you. So don't do that. I'm going to give some of them away, but now you know they exist. Link in the video description. Yada, yada, yada. Bing bong. Done. Video. Done. I'm out of here. <laughs>